Scheduled reports. If you wish for your standard reports to be sent to you automatically, you can set up a report to be scheduled. Any report with the clock icon next to it has the report schedule functionality. Choose the report you wish to schedule from the reports list on the TACO Master website. Choose your report criteria. We will schedule the management report to report for a site and for all permanent workers. If, however, there is a date selection on the report criteria, do not select dates as these will be ignored. Dates will be selected based on the date range schedule chosen on the next screen. Once you have chosen the report filters you wish to report by, click on Schedule Report. Choose if you want the report to be sent to you, that means the logged in user, and then select who else you want the report to go to. If the person is a user on the system, type in that person's name and click on the name when it appears. You can also add the email address of any non TACO Master user. Type in the subject. This is the email subject that will appear on the receiver's email client. Enter a description. This is the body or text of the email that will show when the receiver opens the email. Choose if you would like the report to be sent daily, weekly or monthly. When you choose this date range schedule, the next report date changes at the bottom of the page. The date range will be relative to the schedule, i.e. a daily report will consist of yesterday's data and a weekly report will be from Monday to Sunday of the previous week, sent Monday. Monthly will report the previous calendar month data, sent on the first date of the new month. If you wish to report for a week in arrears or in advance, you can change the date offset range. Setting an offset will cause the date range to be moved by that amount, offset by days, weeks or months depending on the scheduled date range set previously. For example, a weekly management report for the week previous to last week would have an offset of minus one whereas a monthly report to show expiring cards for next month will have the date range set to monthly and an offset of plus two. Now check the next report due dates correspond with what you would expect. Click Save to save the schedule. The report will be sent as an attachment by email at approximately 3am on the scheduled day. When you save your report, you will then be shown the list of current scheduled reports you have created. You can also access this screen from the website menu by clicking on Tools, Report Schedule. If you wish to amend the schedule, click on Options next to the Report Schedule item. You can change the details, add people to the distribution list, disable temporarily by clicking on Disable or Delete Permanently.